Hi friends. All right. So today we're going to be talking about our penguin still. Um, this time though, we're going to be working with some story problems, some combining story problems. Okay. Well, we're combining two numbers together. So let's look at our first picture here. We see some penguins at the top and we have a number here at the bottom. So let's read what this says. There are nine penguins standing on the ice waiting to dive in and five penguins already in the water. How many penguins in all. So let's look at the numbers we have. We have nine penguins standing on the ice. And then down here, we can't see these penguins. They're in the water. But they gave us a number here of five. There are five penguins in the water. How many in all? So to do this, we need to combine those two numbers. So we're going to say nine plus five equals, okay? Now, we have a couple strategies we can use to do that. We can just count on from 9, okay? You can try and make a group of 10 and then count on. You can use number racks for this, whatever you need. What is 9 plus 5? Good, it is 14. So there are 14 penguins in all there. All right, let's look at the next one here. So the next one, if you look at our picture here, we now have a question mark down here. They're not telling us how many penguins are in the water. So let's read this story problem. There are eight penguins standing on the ice waiting to dive in and some more penguins in the water. There are 12 penguins in all. How many are in the water already? So remember when we have that word some, we have to use a box, right? That empty box. So our equation here, so how many are on this top ledge? Right there, eight. Very good. So we have eight standing up there plus some in the water. We don't know how many are there this time. We just know that there are some and we know that it's equaling 12, okay? So we need to know eight plus what number will give us 12. So let me see if I can open this here for you. We need to know eight plus what number will give us 12 here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move over eight. So that's five, six, seven, and eight. I need to get to 12. So I'm gonna start at eight and I'm gonna count on. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. How many more did I have to move over to get myself to 12? Good, I had to move four. So I'm gonna go back to my problem here. Eight plus four is gonna give me 12. Nice job, friends. Okay, let's see if I can get this now to stay with me. There we go. All right, the next one. Let's move down here. There are some penguins hiding behind the hill, waiting to run out and jump into the water. When they join the five penguins in the water, there will be 11 penguins in all. How many are hiding behind the hill? So this time we have a question mark up here and we can see our five penguins in the water. So we have the word some again. There are some penguins hiding behind the hill, and there are five penguins in the water. When they all get together, there will be 11 penguins in all. So I need to know what plus five is going to give me 11. So I'm going to pull back up my number rack here. I know something plus five will give me 11. So I'm gonna move my five over and count on to 11. Well, I know five and five is 10, so that's giving me 10. And one more gives me 11. How many do I have at the bottom here that I added to that five? Very good, I have six. Six plus five gives me 11. So all we're doing is combining those numbers and doing those sum problems just with our penguins with these pictures and with these story problems. After you watch this video, you will see there's some worksheets for you to do at home. You can either print those or you can just use your own separate piece of paper. Work those out. Send me 
your work, okay? So take a picture of it, email it to me, text it to me, send it to me through Class Dojo. But take a picture of what you did, even if you're just writing answers on a separate piece of paper, that is fine. I'd like to see what you are doing and how you're working these out. Um, if you need the number rack, that is linked on there as well. If you need to use it, you can use it on the computer. But you can use anything you have at home, pennies, buttons, coins, cubes, blocks, whatever that you have that you can use to count, okay? Don't be afraid to use something to help you figure out that sum number. You can also always use your fingers if it helps you, okay? So get that done. See you soon. We'll do some more math stuff tomorrow. All right, bye, guys.